Hi guys, Wacker here. Uh, today we're going to show you how to do a water riser for the zombies. Uh, you are going to need to go to the mods repository wiki and download Ardavi's uh, little uh, file which has some FX in it that you're going to need. Uh, I'll put a link in the info description. Uh, there is a, a text version you can follow or you can watch this video. So let's simply do it. So I've created a map saying Ure Yopshi Rises uh, with reference to the song. Uh, we're going to open uh, the map folder and we're going to edit a few files. First I'm going to go into the zone file. Um, I'm going to assume that you've downloaded this file here and you've extracted it into your Black Ops folder correctly. And we're going to edit the zone file. Uh, and you need to add these three lines here uh, and it's basically just linking so the linker knows where to grab the FX from and put it into your file very simple you then need to go into your scripts and there's a couple of elements to do here uh, we'll take the CSE first so above your function main you're going to want to add the pre in uh, again, it's all going to be the info, and I'm going to do the link to the mod repository article here. And then inside the main, you're going to want to tell it to enable for the water riser, and you're going to tell it about the two FX uh, that are going to be played. And I've used some very descriptive start and end brackets. And if you don't know about little Dutch boy who puts his finger in a dike, then you probably haven't been well read. Uh, go back to school. Uh, we'll look at the GSC. Similar sort of thing going on here. Uh, however, there's there's nothing above the main. We're just going to tell the uh, water riser to be enabled uh, above your user map, and then below that, we're going to tell it about the effects it's going to play. The net effect is we then need to edit our map and edit one of our spawners. Again, this is very very straightforward. Uh, I won't say that I had any difficulties getting this working because I did because I didn't read very well the instructions but luckily Adobe is very patient with me so far <laughs> so uh, I had some bloody water I just drew this so I knew where my FX was all we're doing is we're adding a custom KVP and it is script underscore parameters that wants to go here and then its value is in underscore water and it will appear there so we're just editing an existing riser so you can edit any of your risers that you want to modify you can just add in that extra user-defined kvp and what you'll find if we run said map and hopefully it'll chug along somewhere oh yeah it's chugging along somewhere Then we get a black screen of doom. Doom. See how patient we all are going to be waiting for this. You probably want to fast forward a few seconds. And we get the crazy frame rate until we get to my normal frame rate. Whee. It's hard living with a poor frame rate. So here's water, so I know a zombie should eventually spawn from there. And we'll know it's working when we see a splash effect of water. And there we go. That looks a lot nicer. Um, so if you've got any zombie spawners that you've put in your maps already and they're around water, you need to download the uh, assets that RDV has kindly provided for you. And you can either follow this tutorial or you could read the text tutorial that I'll put a link to. Please can I remind people, please put the credits in for where you get stuff. There's a lot of stuff out on the um, out in the community now where people don't credit where they get the scripts from. You know, Ardavi has done this for you. Other people make sense, you know. Um, any, uh, so many people that make stuff. You know, Xeroy for you. Um, give people credits. It would be really nice if you start doing that, folks. Catch you all later. Bye.